I'm glad to see that you are well, sister. Oh, Sarani. Oh, thank Mytho, you're still alive. What has the Architect done to you? Why are you with him? The Architect is kind to me, and tender, and he has told me his plan. The Darkspawn are just like us. The Architect has freed them, and they search for a place in this world, just like the Dalish are searching. Everything he's done, he's done to help his people. You can respect that, can't you, sister? Sorani, they killed our friends, and so many others! Don't you remember? I do. And this is why I must help them. They are like children come into the world with no understanding of what is good and fair. They have a bestial nature, but I've seen them overcome it. They just need to be shown how. No, I have work to do. The Architect is waiting for me. And for you. He will explain everything. You will see, as I have seen. No! Don't go! And so we meet again. No, Uther. That is not how this must begin. I owe you an apology, Commander. When last we met, I intended to explain... myself. Fate, however, intervened. I restrained you, only to prevent the misunderstanding that occurred with the rest of your order. A misunderstanding? Did you not attack the Grey Wardens? I sent the Withered to ask for the Grey Wardens' help. I should have anticipated that you might view our approach as an attack. I am rarely able to judge how your kind will react. It was most unfortunate. The Grey Wardens that were brought to me were already dead. I took their blood just as I took yours, because I had little choice. Things have not gone as I planned. I only ask that you hear me out. Should you still wish to slay me afterwards, you may try. My kind has ever been driven to seek out the old gods. This is our nature. When we find one, a blight is begun. Each time we attack your surface lands and you fight back until we are defeated. To break the cycle, my brethren must be freed of their compulsion. For that, I need Grey Warden blood. Hundreds of thousands of my kind are killed before each blight is ended. It is a plague on our race. We do not begin a blight because we crave power or destruction. We obey the call of the old gods without choice. In order to become what you are, you drink the blood of my kind to transform. Similarly, we must transform. I have created a version of your joining that uses the blood of Grey Wardens. You take the taint into yourself. What we take is your resistance. That is how my brethren are freed. In your blood lies the key to their immunity against the call of the old gods. Once they are freed, the Darkspawn think for themselves, they speak, they act. Some, however, have reacted poorly. They are flawed and they rage against me. The Mother gathers them to stop me, and she seeks to stop you. I cannot defeat the Mother alone. 
and I cannot free the Darkspawn unless she is defeated. Our goals are the same. This reeks of stupid. The last thing we need is more Darkspawn thinking for themselves. Darkspawn or no, he has a good point. Do we really want to keep killing each other forever? This is what my sister saw. An ally amongst the Darkspawn. This is an opportunity we cannot pass up. Help me kill the mother. And after it is done, I will leave to continue my work. My most flawed creation. Freedom drove her mad, and she has poisoned the minds of the others. She has influence with the ones who have not been freed, and she gathers them as an army. I do not seek to rule, my brethren. I only seek to release them from their chains. I was born as I am, an outsider amongst my kind. Why? I do not know. Why do some of your kind become Grey Wardens? Why do some possess magic? I have no answers. And how would they know when the choice has been deprived of them? Without choice, there is only one path before them, and that leads to the Blight. I believe there is another way. No! The Architect is a visionary! Don't be foolish! But we could have stopped this cycle of Blights and Old Gods. How very unfortunate. But I cannot blame you. You are as bound to your nature as we are to ours. I am sorry, Uther. It appears that I will not be able to keep my promise after all. You will have to forgive me, Commander, for fighting to preserve my destiny. <laughs>